hello guys welcome to my ten so in this video we are going to look at the anatomy and the arterial supply venous drainage lymphatic drainage and the nerve supply of the penis and before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe and also watch our anatomy videos on the uh, male main genital organs and other anatomy videos so coming to the arterial supply of the penis arterial supply So what are the principal arteries that are supplying the penis? The penis is supplied by the four pairs of arteries. Four pairs. What are the four pairs? The first one is the deep arteries of the penis. Deep arteries of the penis. And then we have the dorsal arteries of the penis. Dorsal arteries. and then we have the arteries of the bulb arteries of the bulb and finally we have the superficial superficial dorsal arteries so these are the four principal arterial supply to the penis uh, out of these the first three pairs arise from the internal pudendal arteries they arise from the internal pudendal arteries internal pudendal arteries which is the branch of anterior division of the internal iliac and the last pair comes from the superficial external pudendal arteries external pudendal arteries which are the branches of the femoral arteries so the penis is supplied by the deep arteries of the penis dorsal arteries arteries of the bulb and the superficial dorsal arteries the first three pairs are the branches of the internal pudendal artery and this one's the branches of the external pudendal artery which comes from the femoral arteries and this comes from the anterior division of the internal iliac artery the penis is supplied with the blood chiefly by the deep arteries and the deep arteries are the principal vessels for filling the lacuna in the erectile tissue we have the erectile tissue in the penis so the principal is supplied by the deep arteries and they are help in the erection of the penis each deep artery will give a, each deep artery of the penis runs along the lengthwise in the corpus cavernosum and gives of numerous branches and these arteries will also give rise to minute arteries which directly open into the cavernous spaces they open into the cavernous spaces and after opening into the cavernous spaces they these arteries give rise to minute arteries and in the flaccid state of the penis these vessels project into the lacunae and and these are called as the helicine arteries the small arteries which these will open they are called as the helicine arteries the dorsal arteries run on the dorsal aspect of the penis and they supply the glans penis and the distal part of the corpus spongiosum and they also supply the prepuce and the frenulum of it and these arteries of the bulb supply to the bulb and proximal half of the corpus spongiosum and the superficial external pudendal arteries supply to the skin and the fascia of the penis so this is uh, to be noted so coming to venous drainage of the penis venous drainage so basically the venous drainage of the penis includes the superficial superficial dorsal vein of the penis superficial dorsal vein and then we have the deep dorsal vein deep dorsal vein so mainly venous drainage is by the superficial and the deep dorsal veins so the main veins carry uh, they are contrary to the arteries and are unpaired and they lie in the superficial they lie in the uh, they are separated from each other and they lie in the superficial fascia so the superficial dorsal vein it is situated in the superficial fascia on the dorsal aspect of the penis and it is in the midline proximally it will divide into the right and the left branches which will drain into the superficial external pudendal veins so these drain into the superficial external pudendal veins So the deep dorsal veins they lie in the deep fascia which is called as the bux fascia and they also lie in the median plane in the dorsal aspect along the two corpora cavernosa so the deep vein drains into the drains the venous blood from the cavernous tissue and it will pass into the prostatic venous plexus 
prostatic venous plexus so this is about the venous drainage of the penis now coming to the lymphatics coming to the lymphatics so the lymphatic drainage is very important because it has a role in the metastasis of the penis metastasis of the penis cancer which occurs frequently so the lymph vessels from the glans penis they drain into the deep inguinal lymph nodes drain into the deep inguinal lymph nodes and they drain into the deep inguinal lymph nodes especially into the lymph node of cloquet lymph node of cloquet which is situated in the femoral canal what is femoral canal and the femoral sheath we have discussed in our another anatomy video make sure to watch it so this is about the lymphatics they mainly drain into the deep inguinal lymph nodes and also the lymph node of cloquet which is situated in the femoral canal and these lymph nodes are very important because they they come in the metastasis of the penis cancer now coming to the nerve supply of the penis so coming to the nerve supply of the penis under nerve supply we have three headings the sensory innervation motor innervation and the autonomic innervation under sensory innervation it is mainly from the dorsal nerve of the penis dorsal nerve of penis and it is also supplied by the ilio inguinal nerve which is from the l1 segment so this is about the sensory innervation coming to the motor innervation motor innervation is by is by the perineal branch of the perineal branch of pudendal nerve motor innervation is by the perineal branch of the pudendal nerve under autonomic it is by the s2 s3 and s4 inferior hypogastric plexus hypogastric plexus which includes the s2 s3 and s4 spinal segments they supply the autonomic innervation so it has the three sensory motor and the autonomic uh, inner supply so this is about the arterial supply venous drainage lymphatic drainage and the nerve supply of the penis so thank you guys thank you for watching till the end if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and ensure that you share it to your other friends and learn more about the anatomy thank you so much